Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. Just at the minute, we're gonna talk about injector calibration or injector compensation or compensation codes. What are they, what do they do, and do you need to put them in, and how do you do that? So, with every brand new injector, they are obviously built to a specification, and then they are electronically there's a coding okay that needs to be entered into the ECU to tell the ECU what's happening with that injector so for example so there's a new injector we're not going to take it out of the sealed bag obviously if you buy your injector or fast your injector kits this is what we do we open we check we make sure nothing's broken the solenoids all good there quite loose in the box I'll just tell you about that while we're at it you know you can see the size of the box compared to the injector you can fit about you can fit about three injectors in a box I've tried to fit four that doesn't work but two works quite loosely so um, that's what we do we check and repackage so that it gets you on piece but that aside what I want to show you is the conversation code so without opening it up let's have a look at this one there you go you can see the code on the top and it's a 30 digit code right in this case it starts with a 13 now a few little cautions will give you a little bit will give you a bit of info while we're at it right so we'll just go through what this code is and which numbers and letters you need to be careful of right so this is 1323 so this is basically how you read it as well because people also ask how do I read it do I read all the way across or down and then across like a book you know what I mean do you go 1323 OB10 one oh double two that way or do you go one three two three O E O F O V so that's a good point isn't it? Um which way do you go? Well the way you go is it's one three two three zero E zero F zero B one zero one three one nine one zero double two one seven two six zero 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 twenty three don't worry about the circle in you've got 30 digits they're zeros they're not o's so if you're using a laptop don't put o's that won't work they are zeros okay all your numbers are sort of obviously one to nine and there's only certain letters that get used now the ones you got to be careful of is the e's and the f's because they do look very similar and if you're writing them down you could actually get the E's and the F's mixed up. So they're the ones you've got to be careful of, okay? Um, basically, this is the deal, right? So people are asking, you know, com what, what about the conversation? Don't I have to, you know, do I have to get it tuned or do I have to get it remapped? Do I have to get... They're not too sure. So this is exactly what you have to do, okay? Every injector's got a unique code like that, okay? Now... With the vehicles up until about 2009, you only need to put these compensation codes in. With the ones from about September 09 onwards, you need to do a pilot learn also, pilot learn detail. That's in other videos, right? This one's just about the compensation codes. Now, yeah, you can run the car without the compensation codes put in. Let me try and explain it to you this way. This is built to a specification. You, you, look, let's call it this 99%, right? It's 99%. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm just trying to give you an example. It's 99% and electronically the last 1% is done, we'll say. You know, it could be 1% less than that, more than that, whatever. What matters is, is how bad were the old injectors? If you've got a 2006 vehicle, it's 2020 now, right? So things are a lot better. So these might be 0.02% out, right? So it really doesn't matter. But what matters is if you've got an 06 vehicle um, and those old injectors, they were 4% out, so you obviously telling the ECU it's over or under or whatever the case may be by say 3%. I'm just giving you examples here, right? We're 4% out or something like that. So it's adding in 4% more fuel. I'm not saying that, I'm just giving you an example, right? 10%, whatever you want. And then this injector is the opposite, right? So where the problem is by not putting it in is how far out is the old injector, right? Or how far out is the new injector? We're assuming these are a lot better than the old ones. I can tell you what I see, they're a lot better, but that doesn't mean at the end of the day um, how much better they are or they aren't, or which way they're out. So if number one's negative two, and you put in one that's two the other way, that's 4% out. So, And if you've got a series of that happening with all your cylinders, then it's gonna be a fair bit out. Now what I'll tell you is, I don't think they're very far out, because when you run the vehicle without putting the codes in, 
they're quiet, they don't blow smoke, they don't make noise. The ones that I've tested, okay, for years we've been doing this and haven't, you know, we just put the codes in so we don't generally run them, but I've had a lot of people ask me, I read on the internet other people that have never done them seem to be running fine. I read on the internet that other people have not done them and they've driven them somewhere to get it done. So I thought, well, I'm not going to tell you you can do that unless I've done it. Obviously, we started with a little bit of testing with that. It's fine. You can do it. Okay. So if you're doing your own injectors, and I'm saying you should do your own injectors, okay, you should take it to a professional, someone that knows what they're doing, it's a specialist area, or you should get one of our recommended repairers to do it. You can get me to do it, one of our recommended repairers. Or you can watch my videos there's a number of different videos in the VIP group on how to do it and once you've seen enough then you're equipped to make a decision whether you should do it or not because if you're going to do it that may help you do it or it may convince you not to do it it's just information so that you can make an informed decision so that aside that doesn't really matter the point is if you decide to do it and you do it and you haven't got something to put the codes in you can drive it somewhere you can bring it to me or one of our recommended repairers whatever, they'll put the compensation codes in for you. Now, let's just be clear about it. So those early ones where you've just got to put those codes in, it's literally a matter of you can take a photo of those 30 digits there, make sure they're nice and clear. I lay them on the bench left to right is front to rear, okay? That way you don't, no mix-ups. Lay them on the bench, one, two, three, four, you know, and take a photo. That way left is number one. Second from the left is number two. Number one on the engine is the front of the engine, right? That way you go somewhere, mate, they plug in a scan tool, you can stand there and read them the numbers. You say one, three, two, four, they go do, 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 do. Literally it will take five minutes, right? So they should be happy to take a slab or, I don't know, 50 bucks. Or even if they charge half an hour, what's their hourly rate? 100, 150, whatever it is, 50 or 70 bucks, something along those lines. If they're decent, they're just gonna go, you know what? They might be happy to have you back for some other business some other time or, you know, I reckon, Depends who you are, but I reckon a bottle of grog or a slab's probably better than charging for a job like that. Because if you were to charge half an hour, you're kind of ripping people off because it doesn't take that long. But then, you know, it's only five minutes, so whatever. You guys work that out. If you're getting quoted like some people, a hundred, hundred and fifty, a hundred and seventy-five, two hundred dollars, you are getting ripped off. Don't do it. Now, a lot of people use text room, so you can Google text room. Um, see what you find. I don't use it. I've got it set up somewhere on the laptop. Maybe I'll have to do another video and we'll go through using that a little bit. I'll have to work out how to use it, like I said, because I don't use it. But the key there is you need to be a bit computer savvy because you've got to set it up on your laptop. It comes with a lead. You know, you get off eBay, 40 bucks or something, right? If it works or if you can get it working. Now, most people do. Some people have trouble getting it working. And then even people that get it working have a bit of trouble with it working. Now, very rare. I mean, it's probably 90% of people get away with it. Now, the other thing you can do, you can get on our Facebook groups and you can say, hey, I'm in, I don't know, uh, I'm in the Sutherland Shire of Sydney or I'm in wherever, right? I'm in uh, Dandenong in, out of Melbourne, yeah, in Victoria, I'm in Dandenong and I need to do these injected compensation codes. Has anyone got some equipment or tech stream running that I can come to you or can you come to me and... There's a, there's a bottle of Bundy involved, or you know, you might not get anyone if you say that. There's a bottle of Jim Beam, or there's a bottle, whatever there's a bottle of, or whatever you want. There's a pack of smokes, I wouldn't recommend that. There's a slab of Coke, I don't know what there is, right? There might be a Oz Prada Crew t shirt, whatever. I don't know what it is, guys, but the point is, there's ways to do it. It doesn't need to be done urgently straight away. Now, with the later ones, so 09 onwards, uh, this video, see, it's getting a bit, well, this was going to be another quick three or four minute one, but. The info just keeps spilling out, doesn't it? So with the later one, September 09, where they change, where the injectors change, so right on a 120 and a 150 Prado is where they changed, right? Same vintage in Hiluxes, but you know, they didn't change shape, did they? So there you go. It's still the same Hilux. But September 09, roughly, 150 Prado onwards, you need to also do the pilot loon. As soon as you put in those injector compensation codes, you're going to get an engine light come on, a couple other lights, and it's going to tell you it's not happy. You're going to have a code, something like a 1601, and it's going to want to do the pilot loon, and you can't clear it until you've done that generally, right? So what else can I tell you? There's your info. That's your, that's your compensation code. That's where it is, 30 digits on top of that injector. Um, 
it's ideal if you do put them in, it's the fine tuning of the injector so that each cylinder gets even horsepower, right? Otherwise the ECU doesn't know what's going on. It's subtracting and adding and whatever at different cylinders from the previous codes that are in there. If it hasn't been changed, even if there was a way you could neutralize it would be good, but oh, look, I don't know how to do that. There's probably a number for that, someone knows. Someone's sitting back having a gill going, yeah, I know you can put these, this is the neutral code that doesn't add or subtract fuel or whatever timing, so. Um, what else can I tell you? That's the conversation codes. You gotta do the pilot learn on the later ones. Um, use text room. Any other scan tool that does it is generally expensive and it's not worth you owning one unless you're in the trade, you know, vehicle technician, whatever the case may be. Not worth you owning one. So the cheapest way to do it is text room. All your little code reader things like, you know, your EDS or your scan gauge or your apps and all sorts of things, they don't do this. Everybody should have something like that in their vehicle. These days, technology, I've said it before in other videos, in the last sort of 10 or 15 years, maybe since 2005 is a rough number, everybody should have something that can read DTCs because without a number, it's useless. You've got an engine light, no number. It should be part of the vehicle. It should be on the dash. Engine light, and then you press a button, you get the numbers, so then you can contact whoever and say, hey, you know, you know, of course, you're a genuine Toyota dealer, and say, hey, I've got this, and they wouldn't tell you anyway, would they? So anyway, you'd Google it, because that's what the internet is these days. You Google everything, you find everything you need. You just gotta watch what you find, because sometimes it's wrong. Bada bing. There's the injector and the conversation codes. I don't know what else I can tell you on this subject. I hope that's covered it. Don't get ripped off. I think what triggered this video was yesterday, someone telling me he's been quoted 175 bucks to put conversation codes in. Mate, I would do it for free before. You know what? It's just ridiculous. Um, highway robbery, literally. And I don't know, I think it is a bit of a highway, but you might pay that up there, but it's still, it's just not necessary. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As usual, if you haven't subscribed, Check out all our other videos. There's hundreds there, heaps of information. It'll keep you busy for ages, but you'll be glad in the end. You'll be well educated, and there's plenty more coming your way, and hopefully we'll get better at it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bada bing, bada boom.